Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Hi everyone, I'm Teacher Hidayah. We meet again. How is it going? Are you ready for today's English lesson, Year 3, Module 6, Food, please? Let's get started. Hi everyone, as usual, ready your guess mark. Last three students' book and turn to page 62 and 63. Before we start, let's look at the class agenda. The topic for today is story time, the cooking competition. We are going to listen and read the story. And then we are going to talk about what happens in each frame. And after that, we are going to do a role play of a cooking competition. And you will do the task in your Get Smart Plus 3 workbook page 49. Are you ready? Are you all set? Let's go. Module 6. Story time. Activity 1. Listen and read. The cooking competition. It's Wednesday afternoon and Ted and Faye are in class. Every month they have a cooking competition. I'm making noodle soup, Miss Tulip. Are there any vegetables in your noodle soup, Ted? Yes, of course. Okay, so in frame one, Ted and Faye are in class, taking part in a monthly cooking competition. So they have a cooking competition every month. Their teacher, Miss Tulip, is asking Ted about the ingredients he is preparing. Ted is making noodle soup with vegetables. Alright, let's continue. Faye isn't very good at cooking. She doesn't like it very much. Faye, you've got some meat, some tomatoes and a pineapple. What are you making? Um, it's a surprise. Okay, so in frame two, Faye isn't good at cooking. She doesn't like it. Uh, and she got... The ingredients she got are meat, tomatoes, and a pineapple. And Miss Tulip asks her what she is going to make. And Faye nervously answers that it's a surprise. Okay, let's continue. This month, Ted wins the cooking competition. Faye is sad. Her food is always bad. Congratulations, Ted. Your noodle soup is delicious. Thanks, miss. Okay, so in frame three, Miss Tulip tries Ted's soup and announces that he's winner of the competition for that month. And Faye is sad. Alright, moving on. That evening at home, Faye tells her dad about the competition. Faye, let's cook together. Okay, Dad. Alright, so after the competition, Faye tells her dad about the competition and he suggests they cook together to practice for next month's competition. Right? Let's continue. For one month, Faye and her dad cook and cook and cook. Right, so in frame 5, Faye and her dad make several unsuccessful attempts at cooking throughout the month. They cook and cook and cook. Alright. Today is the cooking competition. Faye, you've got some flour, some milk, some chocolate and some eggs. What are you making? It's a surprise, miss. Alright, so in frame 6, it's the day of the cooking competition. So Miss Tulip asks Faye what she's cooking. And Faye smiles at her and full confidence, she tells her it's a surprise. Can you see the difference from the before frame? 
before she looks nervous and now after a month practice she is confident all right let's continue miss tulip is tasting the food sally's chocolate cake is very good and ted's chocolate biscuits are great too and now it's face turn would you like some chocolate pancakes miss tulip yes please Ah, this is delicious. Great job, Faye. You're the winner. Okay, so in the last frame, frame number 7, Miss Tulip has tried the other students' food and now she's trying face chocolate pancakes. Miss Tulip says her pancakes are delicious. She congratulates her and announces that Faye is the month winner. Okay, now if you look at the value at the bottom of the picture, it says practice makes perfect. So, do you like the story? Do you enjoy uh, reading it? And what do you think practice makes perfect means? Okay, now let's look at the first frame. Let's look back at it again and then let's discuss the after reading question. Okay, are you ready? Okay. So, what day is it? It's Wednesday afternoon. Where are Fay and Ted? So, they are in class. What is Ted making? He's making noodle soup with vegetables all right frame number 2 does fail like cooking no she doesn't mm, what has fail got so she has got some meat some tomatoes and a pineapple and what is she making it's a surprise okay, frame 3 who's the winner of the competition that is Okay, and is Faye happy? No, she isn't. She's sad. Okay, frame number four. What does Faye's dad tell her? He tells her to cook with him. Practice and practice. Okay, frame five. What do Faye and her dad do for a month? They cook and cook and cook and cook. Okay, frame six. What has Faye got here? So she has flour, milk, chocolate and eggs. So what is she making? It's a surprise again. Okay. Finally, frame number 7, what is Miss Tulip doing? She's trying face chocolate pancakes. Are face pancakes good? Yes, they are. They are delicious. And who's the winner of the cooking competition? Faye is the winner. So you must always practice and practice and practice to make it perfect okay don't give up all right now let's continue first activity you are going to role play the comp the cooking competition and we will do this activity in the class okay let's move in on to task number 2 you are going to complete the exercise in workbook page page 49 All right, so let's look at number one. What is Ted making? He's making noodle soup. Number two, has Fei got any onions? No, she hasn't. Number three, who wins the competition? Ted wins the competition. And number four, is Fei happy? No, she isn't. Okay, number five, has Fei got milk and eggs? Yes, she has. And number six, does Miss Tulip like? face chocolate pancakes yes she does and number 2 do you like the story choose in color for me i do like the story and i choose to color the smiley face right so summary of the list the lesson for today you were able to listen read and talk about what happens in the cooking competition number 2 You are you were able to role play and feel the experience taking part in a cooking competition and number 3 remember practice makes perfect Okay so that's it for today I see you in next lesson bye